In the previous video, we have learned how to multiply numbers in index notation. So now, how to divide numbers in index notation? In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve this type of question, and we'll start right now. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question number 1, simplify the following. 24x power 8 divided by 3x square. To solve this question, we use law number 2, which is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n, which means the quotient of two numbers in index form with the same base can be obtained by subtracting the indices of both numbers. First of all, we write down the question given, which is 24x to the power of 8 divided by 3x squared. So, to solve this, we divide the coefficients first, which is 24 over 3, and x, we subtract the indices, which is 8 minus 2. So, equals 24 divided by 3 is 8, x, 8 minus 2 is 6. So, the final answer is 8x to the power of 6. For question number 2, simplify the following. Negative 27y squared divided by 9y cubed. To solve this question, we're going to use law number 2, which is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m minus n. First of all, we write down the question given, which is negative 27y squared divided by 9y cubed. So equals, so we divide the coefficients first, which is 27 divided by 9, then we minus the indices, which is 2 minus 3. So equals, negative 27 divided by 9 is negative 3, and y power 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So whenever you see a power negative 1, you have to convert to negative 3 over y. So this is the final answer. For question 3, simplify the following. Negative 3 p to the power of 10 divided by negative 6 p to the power of 10. To solve this question, we also use law number 2 which is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So first of all, we write down the question given, which is negative 3 p to the power of 10 divided by negative 6 p to the power of 10. So equals, we divide the coefficients, which is negative 3 over negative 6, and then we minus the indices, which is 10 minus 10. So equals, negative 3 divided by negative 6 is 1 over 2. So p, 10 minus 10 is 0. So p to the power of 0 is equivalent to 1. So therefore, the answer is half. Well, that's all for now. Do you understand what you have learned from this video today? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!